Hey guys, welcome back again. In this video, we are talking about curriculum changes from 2021 to 2022. So, as we all know that 2022 learning objectives are out for the FRM part 1 and part 2. So, in this video, I'm going to just compare the part 1 and part 2 curriculum right from this year, that is from 2021 to the next year curriculum, which is 2022. Okay, so this is the PDF that uh, you will find in the description box below. So let's first understand for FRM part one, what are the curriculum changes from 2021 to 2022. So in 2021, we had total of 60 chapters and in 2022 curriculum for FRM part one, there are again 60 chapters. So there are no uh, new chapters, no chapter has been removed. All the readings or chapters remains the same okay but yes there are some updates so what are those updates we're gonna be looking right now let's start with the very first book which is foundations of risk management 11 chapters in total and uh, in 2022 curriculum nothing has changed each learning objectives remains the same for this book okay so 20 percent is the weightage for that nothing has changed in 2022 curriculum well, talking about a second book, which is quantitative analysis, again, 20% weight for 2022 and uh, 13 readings or chapters in total. Again, no change at all. Each of the learning objectives remains the same for 2022. All right, moving on to the third book, which is financial markets and products. 30% is the weightage for that. Uh, so in 2021 curriculum, we had 20 chapters again. The same number of chapters are there in 2022 curriculum, but there are number of updates uh, in some of these readings. Okay. Now, for example, in introduction to derivatives, there's one update in the learning objective. And in this reading, we have one learning objective, which is removed and one new learning objective has been added. So, so on and so forth. You can look what are the changes. I'm also going to show you the detail, the learning objective wise changes the updates what has happened in 2022 okay there's a separate file for that which you will also find in the description box or in my telegram channel as well okay let's just first understand the macro level changes of the curriculum all right and finally for valuation and risk models again 30 percent weight but yes there has been uh, updates here as well for example in measuring and monitoring volatility so they have removed three learning objectives from 2021 and they've updated two and added one new learning objective as well so there are quite a notable changes in uh, uh, the valuation and risk models so if you are using the 2021 curriculum for next year you you must be aware about all these changes because until unless you get your hands on to these new curriculum if you are using this uh, then i you, you should be aware about these changes now we're going to be having a look at part two curriculum changes well talking about frm part two curriculum changes yes there are uh, so there were 100 readings in 2021 curriculum in 2022 we have 99 readings or chapters okay so market risk measurement and management 20 percent weightage there are 16 readings in this nothing has changed from 2021 curriculum so you can perhaps use the same book for this one until you until you get your hands on to the latest curriculum moving on to credit risk measurement and management 20 percent weightage the same weight as last year 18 readings in total there are few changes in in this one and in this one so there's one learning objective which has been updated from last year and one new learning objective is added to introduction to securitization all right talking about operational risk and resiliency 20 percent weightage 26 chapters in 2021 but there are 27 chapters in 2022 Okay, so yes, there are two readings that are updated and two new readings has been uh, has been put up in the 2022 operational risk curriculum. Okay, and one reading has been removed from 2021 curriculum. So this is the change in the operational risk. Talking about liquidity and treasury risk measurement and management, 15% weightage. 19 chapters in total so no change in this book okay it absolutely each of the learning objectives remains the same and finally the last book uh, in this risk management and investment function 15 percent weightage 11 chapters they all remain same in 2022 curriculum okay the, the thing which has been updated a lot is this section which is current issues in financial markets 10 percent weightage 10 chapters in 2021 curriculum 
but there are eight chapters in 2022 curriculum and most of the cha chapters almost seven chapters are are uh, absolutely new okay so only this beyond LIBOR that has been carried forward to to the 2022 curriculum so this is a major change uh, all the learning objectives have been replaced by these new readings okay okay so now we're going to be having a look at what are the individual changes I'm going to show you another file which is available for download. Uh, now this is another PDF that exists for FRM part 1 and part 2 which we have created. You can you can see for yourself that what has changed. I've made the notation here as to what has been updated. Okay, So, uh, so this learning objective has been updated to this one. Okay? So this is something that you can go through the PDF and all the changes. Okay, All the chapters, all the changes that is there. Uh, I've, I've gone ahead and I have made... A reference in each of these learning objectives so you can go ahead and you can refer it now this is for part one so this is a part two PDF file which also shows the learning objectives of 2021 and then there are 2022 learning object these two PDFs for part one and part two they are only for the changes which has taken place in each of these readings okay as you observe I have not included all the learning objectives of 2022 okay these are only the changes that has taken place and i've compiled a difference just to show you what has been added and what has been removed and what has been updated so that if you're using the 2021 curriculum for 2022 until unless you get 2022 curriculum you can certainly use 2021 if you know what are the changes okay i'm going to put a link which will lead you to the official garp website wherein you can go ahead and you can download the official uh, 2022 learning objectives okay the entire learning objectives will be available out there these files are available for download in the below uh, in, in the description box also you can download it from my telegram channel all right so with that being said thank you so much for your time and have a great day